not. Say hi, everybody. Hi. Hi. Jared. Hi. Good. Uh -huh. All right. Yep. Good deal. So, we're here in the kitchen organizing food, seeing expiration dates. We decided to have a little contest on who could find the oldest item. So, I found these clothes here ground clothes. Guess the date. It's low. 7 1 69. So far, I'm winning. Yeah, she's winning. We'll see how it goes. I'm helping to organize clothes right now for the people that are going to come in here and shop. And uh, loving what I'm doing. Uh, it's a good morning. We are organizing clothes here. Um, we are learning what is hung and what is laid on the table. And uh, we are having a great morning here at Crossroads for the Rockies. We had a great devotion by our new friend uh, down there, um, Bonnie. Yes, Bonnie. She, uh, that woman can pray. So I want her on my prayer team. There you go. that people don't know about. There's a lot of incest, there's a lot of abuse going on there. And so my mom and dad decided they were going to leave South Dakota and move Say hello. Hi. Hello. How was your morning, everybody? Fabulous. Oh, it was fantastic. Fabulous. Very good. Yeah. What's the occasion tonight? Oh, it's just an awesome cheerleading yes. banquet. Cheerleading banquet, yes. And I think we're gonna have a hundred people. Okay. So we're making a lot of yes. dressing. I can take a picture of all the potatoes they cut up. So our groups from Texas are helping us to set up for our cheer banquet tonight. We're gonna celebrate this season. Um, the girls took home three first place trophies from two of the competitions this season, so we're very, very proud of them. Fonts right now, okay. and we're going to get some music behind it, and hopefully uh, it will turn out really nice. City Connects is literally connecting suburban and urban churches for missions together. And so these guys from Texas, give it up one more time from Texas. <laughs> Nick, Stan, Davis, Stan, these are the two leaders from the big band. From Houston, and from Florida, Texas. And Davis, his wife, what's her first name? Tiffany. Tiffany Morgan is a compassion advocate. She went to Haiti right after the earthquake with the medical team, right? So some of you may know her, so we'll get to talk to Davis afterwards. But it's exciting to have these teams, and right now we have teams in LA, we have teams in New York City, and these guys here in, uh, so my staff is all over the United States helping these teams, and I get to be with these guys here in Denver. But because sometimes, in order to be blessed, we have to be broken. That day I had to be broken. I've been broken lots of times. Don't have time to tell you all that. Find that time in your life when you were broken so that you could be a blessing to others. And that's what Jesus did. And he just kept blessing. And he, and he just kept blessing. And, and, and we don't know how it all happened. It doesn't really say here. It just says that he broke the loaves into pieces and he gave them to the disciples and the disciples gave them to the people. Now, Jesus had 12 guys to feed 30,000 people. I don't know how long that took. It probably took a long time. But fortunately today, I brought 40 disciples for 300. So quickly, disciples, come on up. And we're going to just uh, pretend like we're here. Come on, quick. I, I told you guys to go quick. And Jesus kept breaking. Come on, disciples. Keep going. Oh, wait a minute. Break that. That's, that's what we're going to do. Okay, there's another one. And uh, come on, disciples. Keep breaking it for each other because I don't have 40 of these. But Jesus kept breaking, and he kept saying to the disciples, I don't know where this bread is coming from. It just keeps coming out of his hands. Can you imagine that? Oh, let me ask you a question. When you have uh, 20,000 of those 30,000 kids, and by the way, the scripture says they all ate, they were all satisfied. Are you satisfied yet? No, you're not. Keep eating. <laughs> just had a little bit. Come on, you're not. You know, they kept eating, keep eating, hurry, keep eating. And, and then it says they were all blessed, they all ate. And guess what? There was a lot of leftover bread, right? 
Well, you've got 20,000 kids. What are 20,000 kids going to do after they've eaten their fill with leftover bread? What are they going to do? Okay, stand up. Ed, stand up. Come on, quick. Go. Do it. Okay. <laughs> Mama 